What's up, everybody? It's your man, it's TZ, and I'm here today. I'm in the word, bro. I'm in the word, and the topic is the topic is love. The topic is love. You know, us young people, us older people, we all need to be at least willing students in this specific topic of life, like love, bro. That's that's something that everybody needs. That's something that everybody desires. You know, to some extent. So. You know, it's, we should be open in discussion about that, to learning about it. We should be willing students of love, you know. Uh, there's a verse that really stuck out to me when I was looking up, you know, when I was looking up wisdom for it, you know what I'm saying? Proverbs 15, 17 says, Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a stalled ox and hatred therewith. And what that means is, you know, better it is to be surrounded you know what I'm saying? With people that actually love you and y'all have, you know, not the best means, you know what I'm saying? In terms of material things, in terms of uh, maybe money or or social status or anything like that, you know, better it is to live a simpler life or better it is to not have as much, but be surrounded by people that actually love you than it is to have, you know, all the money in the world, all the fame in the world, all the all the things that, you know, a lot of us have empty desires for. You know what I'm saying? And. But the downside to that is you surrounded by people that don't love you. Now, it's possible to have both. You can have you can have like money in abundance. You can have, you know, you can have like a high level of influence and still be surrounded by people that love you, you living your life right, whatever, you know, but I think it's, I think that's an important point because, you know, a lot of us will surround ourselves with people that don't necessarily love us, you know, maybe because what we can get out of this relationship, maybe because of what we intend to get out of this relationship. It's, it's a million different reasons, you know, when if we just be patient, you know, the Bible says love is patient, love is kind. If we just be patient, you know what I'm saying, and wait for God to send us the right thing or wait for us to come in contact with the right thing or the right person, you know, everything could be straight. We could have we could have the money and abundance. We could have the influence, anything, your heart's deepest desire, plus the love of the person that's there for you because y'all drew each other into y'all's lives. You know what I'm saying? Uh... You know, I think I think love is a word that I early in my life I used very loosely and I had to mature. I was very mature. I had to mature and I had to really like put up a mirror in front of myself and think about and think about it. You know, I was uneducated on it. You know what I'm saying? Love is not just a small thing, something to be thrown around, you know. There's a difference between there's a difference between being told by somebody that they love you and actually being loved. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference in telling somebody you love them and actually loving them. You know, I was listening to T.D. Jakes today uh, while I was in the gym. If y'all don't know who that man is, look him up. Very wise, very powerful man, T.D. Jakes. I really love his I really love his wisdom, his mind, his content. And he was saying that love is a commitment. The foundation of love is commitment. You know, you say... Like you, you embark on a relationship, you know what I'm saying? You start a relationship. The foundation must be love or else it's not going to last because times of adversity will come, you know, in yourself. Like you got to love yourself because adversity is going to come against you in your life. So you have to have a foundation in order to keep going. The Bible also say in Proverbs 24, 10, look, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. You know, if that foundation is not love, when the day of adversity come, you're going to faint. You're going to fold. You know, just like again, just like in your relationships, when the day of adversity come in your relationship, if it ain't built on a strong foundation, you know what I'm saying? The storm's just going to tear the house down. The storm's going to tear the, the, the storm's going to tear what you was building down. You know, so the foundation must be love and the foundation of love is commitment. You know? Like, 
you're not always going to feel like loving people. You're not always going to feel like dealing with people. You're not always going to feel like extending yourself or, or giving your or giving your energy, you know, to folks. But if you truly love them, that's what you will do when they need you. If you truly love them, you know what I'm saying? That's what you'll do in order to in order to keep what you was building intact. And it's the same way with yourself. You know, when that adversity comes against your life, you know, it's a lot of people that have committed suicide. You know, I'm in the United States military. That's a big old epidemic in the military suicide. You know, the people gave up on themselves because maybe perhaps there was no foundation. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they lost love for themselves, you know, or whatever the case may be. Whatever the case may be, but you know, if it's, it's if it's built on a strong enough foundation, and if the foundation is love, you know what I'm saying, and the foundation of that love is commitment, then it can stand. Because commitment says whether I feel like it or not, I'm committed to getting this done. Whether I feel like it or not, I told this person I loved him. Love has to be a commitment. I will love this person through the pain. I will love this person. You know what I'm saying. Through the hardship, whether I feel like it or not, you know, like I'm, I'm grateful for family. I'm grateful for family. I feel loved by my family. You know, it's few people outside of that that I feel loved by, you know, and we got to we got to be aware that we got to be conscious of that. You know what I'm saying? That's not something to just throw around. You know, the people that love to you, the people that love you and give love to you reciprocate that reciprocate that show those people that you care show those people that you love them you know what i'm saying because it's more than just it's more than just hearsay bro it's more than just what you say love is an action love is commitment you know what i mean and and as we grow we must be aware we must learn you know about love because love is life man love is life that's one thing that god put on the inside of human beings the necessity of love, you know what I'm saying? We need that in order to be the fullest version of ourselves, in order to in order to sharpen our countenance, we need love. You know what I'm saying? The highest form of expression of ourselves comes when we love ourselves first, you know what I'm saying? And you cannot love another person if you do not love yourself. If you have no love for another person, if you have no love for yourself, it's very little that you can offer anybody else. You know what I'm saying? You'll just be giving people the crumbs of what you are. You know what I'm saying? And then they'll eventually go on about their business because you've just given them a small portion of what you could actually be. So I think it's important for us to be patient and, and allow love to develop and allow ourselves to work on ourselves, to love ourselves. This is a message to, to myself, to you guys. So it's with peace and love that I come to y'all. Y'all be blessed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, think preeminently, live preeminently, you know, grow yourself, be a student of life, be a student of life, continue to grow. Shemans TZ, y'all be great.